I just finished half marathon. I do not know how I just did that. I hit my uh, goal time, even though I was horizontal sick for a week. Um, craziness, craziness, but so happy that I got out here and I did it. It is so gorgeous uh, here in Hampton, New Hampshire. It is just crazy. So many people, it's the, uh, it's the rock and roll half marathon, so there's going to be loud music too, but I just can't believe that I did it, I'm so proud. I crushed it, I went into beast mode, and we shall see how I do at the New York City Marathon. Bye! Oh my god, you guys, I just ran 20 miles. Holy cow! Give me some background here. Um, it's cold. It's raining, it's probably about 45 degrees, raining. It took me three hours, 10 minutes, so five minutes slower than the goal, but I don't care because my Achilles have been at me like two-year-olds just nagging me. <laughs> they did it, 20 miles. All right, I feel confident about doing New York City Marathon. I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you, Marathon. Because um, if I can do 20, I, I feel like I can do 26. Now, time. What time I get, that's a whole other thing, but that's okay. It's a little nutty to actually have a, a time goal for your first marathon. But um, I just want you to know you can do hard things. You can do really hard things. Um, even when it's cold and it's raining and your Achilles are annoying you, um, and now your feet are like, what the heck are you doing? Um, maybe I can show you the other view. Oh, can I? Hold on. I don't know. I'll show you this way. Out to Plum Island. Show you my new sneaks, purple, violet flame, transmutation. If you know, you know. Um, but yeah, you guys, you can do anything. You are limitless. Just learn how to work with your energy. Learn how to set goals and create a tractor field, and it will happen. And just make sure you have the support to do it. This is the first time in my life I've ever had like a mentor or a coach. Um, I connect with him twice a month, and I'm using um, a running program online. Because before, I didn't know. I just thought, you know, you just add a mile every week. That's not how you do marathon training. You actually have to stay in zone two, which I didn't even know about um, until recently. So I want to set a training, which is uh, running slow. It's funny. It's a run slow to then run fast later, and it's to increase your aerobic capacity. I also belt out thongs <laughs> on my run. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone around me because I was just, like, coaching myself out loud and just singing along. Um, I do that also to check in with how much effort I'm, I'm using to run and also aerobic capacity. Um, and yeah, Foo Fighters got me through the last hour, and then the last song I listened to is Super Maniac, which, I don't know, Maniac. I mean, I freaking just ran 20 miles, three hours on a Sunday in this cold, crazy rain, but I'm coming on, not to, not to tell you about it, not to brag, that's not at all, I don't, I don't care about that. It's really to show you, you can do anything. You can do hard things, set a goal, meditate, connect to it, see yourself doing it. Let me just tell you, Every day, I'm seeing myself cross the New York City finish line at the time that I desire. But really, most importantly, I'm just seeing myself finish it. So, I just wanted to share that with you. Sending you so much love and light, warm love and light. I can't wait to go. I gotta call my boyfriend Otto. I gotta order a pizza. Otto's pizza. He's like the boyfriend I can't quit. Man, I always go back to him. I always need that pizza. But anyway, have a beautiful rest of your Sunday, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.